Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. I'm Nick, and and the cameraman is Kay, and we are back with uh, another video for Fallout 4. Today, we are going to sit here and basically, we are going to listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio. No, wait. Discuss my findings with Piter, and we're going to see him, you know, we're going to see him figure out a way to get into, uh, into the Institute. Mm -hmm. And we're going to. And then we're gonna sit here, uh, basically, basically, you know, get the ending. That's uh, that's it. So please like, comment, subscribe, show all my other videos some like, love, like, support, subscribe, please. Really helps my channel grow and you know gives me motivation. <sighs> Kellogg kidnapped my son, handed him over to the Institute. I'm going to find them and make them regret what they've done to me. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. The Commonwealth and they are weird and influenced by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old pimps behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know. The guy who just handed us Sean. How long? That would have had access, in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging pimp. Huh. It'd be a great ending if they didn't still have the big fortune in the Commonwealth to solve. Um, yep. Uh, you will tell me that. You know, we may not need the man at all. You talking crazy here, Nick? Is that a fall from the old subroutine? Look, there's a place in good uh, neighbor called tell me. Memory Den. Relive the past uh, moments because... in your mind as clear as the day they happen. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it would be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memory. I hope you're right, Nick. I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetic, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way. You want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. Get into there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. A few more steps. Hey. Probably have something to Hey, Valentine. So where are we going, come on? What's that say, Casey? Good neighborhood. A good neighbor. 
Let's go there and transport. We're going to teleport basically to uh, the part, the part street station because I'm not sitting there walking all that way and we're not, and, and there's no way we can edit it out without a camera and a computer. Hopefully this Christmas we do get a computer, right? Come on. Uh. Right? So we can edit all of our, edit our videos and get more subscribers. Uh. Yes. Okay, yes, I'll take as yes then. Uh, of course we will. If you can get the camera, then I can get the computer and we can sit here and, you know, basically edit, learn how to edit. Well, actually, I already know how to edit the videos. I just need a camera and I need a, and a computer. So like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, show the video lots of love and support. So is my other videos. So it keeps us motivated to make more. Right, Casey? Oh. Talk to them. Uh, of course. What are we going to do when we reach 100000 We're going to give at least $1,000 worth to homeless people. We're, we're going uh, to give $1,000 thousand dollars each. To homeless people, you know, as a way to say thank you, because, thank you guys, you know, to help me. Yeah, if the yeah, so sorry if the camera lags at any point in this video. Finding a bear up there? Oh, yep. It's glowing too. Gotta shoot in the head. Got him. Okay, I'm tired of you using that small pistol. That just is not gonna really do anything. Super mutants, this place is infested. Yeah, sometimes my, my gun doesn't work, so I just use a pistol. There you go, see? I didn't like literally get like close to him. <laughs> I just, I just sat here and went inside, and then I just instantly teleported. That was funny.
I literally just jumped over the wall and I instantly teleported in there. See? How do Pepper dislike that? How do you dislike that, woman? Like, this man is clearly faking it. He's just robbing people. What do you care? He ain't one of us. Your love for your name, Finn. Right, Finn. Right. Okay. 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 Okay, we want to be George Washington. <laughs> what? That's what these rumors make no sense sometimes. You know, I buy all the ammo in here. And if you can zoom in, come on, on the money. Look at my money. Six thousand six hundred six about million six hundred sixty five thousand nine hundred nine hundred five. I can pretty much buy anything I want. Okay, zoom. I'm gonna sell the this and then I'm gonna sit here and I'll sell this. And I'll sell this. This give me more caps. And then this is So there we are, the memory dead, even though it's at school lady for the movie theater. What? The? Okay, we're not in the eight we're not in the sixties or fifties, whichever comes first anymore. Sixties, fifties, seventies, eighties, I don't I don't I don't know which era that was, but still. Don't forget about Zombie Horror Sunday tomorrow. I'm gonna complete that sorry excuse for a game, but I finally searched up how to end the game. Basically, we get out of here on a helicopter, but I'm not really thrilled of playing it, but, you know, still. may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh. Am I Bone cutter. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari, but you pulled off the impossible before. Are you really mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defy the courts, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside mm -hmm. knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. I I'll take a look. But no. Here's what I can find. 
What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And it's thing attached to it? A neural interface? Yeah, those circuits look awfully familiar. And what's the problem? Well, from what I've seen, mm -hmm. all institute technology has a similar architecture. Let's get to the good part now. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine. Assuming mm -hmm. he's willing to take on... Obviously he's willing to take risks. Why not? <laughs> yeah, a toaster. Get it? Come on, toaster. You don't get it? I do get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, why he said we should plug it. We, I said we should. He said that we should plug him into a toaster. Yet, yeah. yes. Mmm, toast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I'm okay. taking all these rads with me, too. You ain't need them locked up in here. Call me a comic book. Ragnarok, and Mamarian, it includes a Ragnarok Greyhound tape. Basically, you're going to get this robot or something. Buff out, dirty water, soap, but I'm not dropping it. Get it? <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm going to get out of suit now. Yeah, probably you shit your behind right there. Don't take a look at what I'm already sitting down going to sleep. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mm -hmm. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. Mm -hmm. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. And juicy and salty in here. Can you hear me? Ah. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the impact memory and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. She wanted me to kill her. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. You are experiencing I told myself I wanted to find somewhere this makes out from under the thumb of the NCR. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Yeah, that's me and Casey and Dave, right? Focus on the uh, petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Let's keep looking. 
Sorry, there's gonna be minor language in here. In advance. Yeah. Me and Casey sometimes act like we're happy, but we're not really right. Right. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know. Another one. There. Out. We'll bust Okay, so then he became a hitman, I guess. A reckless one at that. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Come on, it's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said that. There was a big 
crisis this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Burton. We know he's hiding somewhere in the growing sea. Here's his file. Well, the pen's going to roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Are you taking away my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. <laughs> How you just transfer right there? Bro. He just right there and he just transfer. Meanwhile, I'm moving anyway. Yeah, I'm first. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. <laughs> if you're in Valentine like that, we joking. Next time I watch someone's brain, I want popcorn with it. My power armor can get me through a rage. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine's book. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alright, so we gotta get you some new clothes and we gotta get you a power armor because you look like you look like you live on the box on the freeway. I mean I know people follow in higher times, but you know. Not really, or somewhat. Go back to say your favorite hills and try to clean that trash heap of place. All right, so we're gonna get you power armor anyway. Meanwhile, you're a robot and you can't combat. You don't rat, radiation is not a problem for you, but still. Take. 
Jepang. Oh, we're about to reach the camera site limit, Nikki. Alright, so we're gonna see him and take a, a quick commercial break and see him and basically suit up uh Nick Valentine and I'll see you in like 30 minutes. Alright. 